Hi, I'm Emily. I'm Tom. I'm from Australia. <laughs> I'm from England. And welcome to our channel, but I'm not happy because the airline has lost our baggage. I'm really not okay. Hi, we're Emily and Tom. We met backpacking in Chile in 2020 when Tom took me on a road trip through Patagonia until we ended up locked down in Buenos Aires. After being separated across the world for eight months, we reunited in the UK and are now back on the road again. Since the end of June 2021, we've been traveling around Europe through Spain, Italy, and most recently Greece, where after an incredible food tour, a crazy overnight ferry, and an unforgettable quad bike adventure, we have just left to see Croatia before flying home. We just flew from Crete to Athens. Athens to Croatia. And we've been sent an email while we're waiting in the baggage collection to say our luggage has been isn't lost. Coming. They don't know when it's going to come. I don't have insurance. I do. That'll teach me for traveling without travel insurance, which is not something I'd ever do. But the UK government did a thing where they basically didn't let anyone get travel insurance. Okay. So we can do it by this. Thank you. Four days until the next flight. Here from Athens. So I took a bus into Dubrovnik. Emily got a text saying that her luggage has been found and they'll contact her about delivery. Are they yet to contact Tom? Which does make me a little worried. We're just climbing up to our hostel. Already starting to be really conscious of getting super sweaty in this really humid climate and having only one pair of clothes. Yeah, you can feel the sweat already going through all my clothes. Thankfully, even though we don't have our own clothes, the room comes with these clothes. <laughs> They're awesome, to be honest. It's like being in a cool second-hand vintage shop. This morning, Tom went to, down to the shops for me and picked me up some fresh underwear and also this massive singlet that goes halfway down my thighs. We called the airline first thing this morning. They told us that both our bags are going to be on a flight from Greece today and should be in Dubrovnik about 3 p.m. These are Dalmatian They're real nice. Chervacici. It's really tasty. This is Brachia Eagle. Good? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's too strong. I'm actually weltering up. <laughs> so good. Mm. You got chocolate all over your face. One of the best shalasses you've ever had, you see. Yeah, makes sense. Well, nice. Your chest is open, but it's a vibe. Since we had lunch, Aegean got in touch with me and said that my baggage had been found. But then we gave them a call and they said the driver had left 10 minutes ago. So we don't really know what's coming. Could be both of our bags. Thanks. Just hanging out and the only thing that I have apart from the t-shirt, which is this bathrobe that we found in the closet. Are we waiting to see what happens next? <laughs> um, Tom received a call saying that the bags would be delivered in 10 minutes. I rush downstairs. The first thing I see is the guy carrying Tom's bag and I literally burst into tears and I cry out. He's only got one bag. We've tried to contact the airline. Either the phone rings out or we just haven't been able to contact them. So I've been calling the Croatian airport. They said they don't know where my bag is. It didn't come today. Tom's bag had come via Rome. They think that mine may also come from Rome. Our last update was three days ago. Yesterday I called them. They said that my bags had been found in Rome, that they were sending them over in a flight today to Dubrovnik from Rome. But that actually presents us with a new problem. Croatia was absolutely rammed. Everything in our budget was completely booked out. We booked a night bus to the tiny country of Slovenia. We spent a beautiful evening in Bosnia. Yeah, it was really beautiful. <laughs> we passed through this tiny strip of land, which still belongs to Bosnia and Herzegovina. 
And then yesterday morning, we arrived in Ljubljana. It's so beautiful. The food is incredible and it's the least congested capital city I have ever been to. There was one other massive reason why we came to Slovenia, was to see someone very special to us. Cool. <laughs> <She's> <laughs> Sweet! <laughs> got my best friend back. I know Tom from Ecuador. And now we met again in Santiago. And then Tom found Emily in Santiago. Very happy it was Emily, actually. <laughs> but then we found Lisa here in Slovenia. <laughs> This morning, I called up the airline again. They said that my bag is actually arriving in Ljubljana this morning on a flight from Frankfurt. The problem is, is that we are planning now to leave Ljubljana and head to Lake Bled. We've already checked out the hostel. Yeah. We got on books there. We're not sure if they understand that, so we're gonna call them now. Yeah. And my girlfriend's bag is meant to be delivered into Ljubljana this morning, but yeah. we're just not sure if they're going to deliver to the right address since we're moving address today. Yes, yes. That's, that's where we'll be, that's right. Thank yes. you. Okay, well at least they have the right delivery address. Guess what just happened? I got my bag back. A week without my bag. It's so pretty. Oh, and it's so open. Oh no. Hopefully they haven't lost anything. I can't wait to put some fresh undies on. Oh, this one's missing. That's gone. Yeah, that's cool. I can just open this with my thumb. Yay, clean clothes. My toiletries bag. Look at the size of this. What are you most excited to have back? My undies. This whole bag is undies. Lit. What were the plus sides of this experience? I got to carry one bag around. I walk faster. I got to buy new clothes. What are you getting there? Right. What do you got there? Wedding dress and some heels. Would you recommend this experience to a friend? Uh, no. Any <laughs> last words for Aegean Airlines? Call me. So now we're in Slovenia. We've got a little idea of what we might do next if the weather holds up. See, See you next. next. This has been fun. I just received this email from Egan Airlines. It's a passenger satisfaction survey. So I just thought that we could um, complete this <laughs> together. How satisfied were you overall with your flight? I think I'm gonna say not at all satisfied. I'm not gonna say neutral because that not once did they contact me about the bag. How likely is it that you would recommend Aegean Airlines to friends or acquaintances? Zero. Oh, you can rate the cabin crew appearance. What? Both our bags were lost. One for seven days. One was lost twice. <laughs> Bye.